Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome. I know some people are still trying to log in and find us, so we'll get started in just a couple of minutes. I have our paint colors up here on this piece of paper, white, black, red, yellow, and blue, and really with the red, it's just a tiny, tiny bit for that rainbow. Um, so we don't need to, if you're squirting out paint onto a palette or a plate, you do not need a lot of red. We don't want to waste that red. And we'll just need a little bit of yellow and blue for our leaves to make green and also our rainbow. So our, our main colors today are white and black, really. Welcome, welcome to those who are just joining us. Get your art space ready. Maybe you need some snacks and a drink. I'll be using acrylics and a canvas, but you can use anything you've got around the house. Crayons. Hi, Anya. Crayons, pencils, markers. You can follow along with pretty much any medium and we will make it work. If you have um, friends who are trying to find us, um, you might want to recommend that they keep scrolling down on the Paint with Jackie Facebook page or keep refreshing their their web page, and um, they should be able to to find it eventually. But the live videos just show up as a regular kind of post on the Facebook um, wall, I guess. And of course, tell anybody who can't be here for the live video that the live videos do save in the video section of the Paint with Jackie Facebook page. So let me let me uncover this. Um, if it's helpful, you might want to take a, a screenshot or a picture with somebody else's cell phone that you have access to so you can kind of keep this for reference. So I'll keep this up for a moment before we get started here. Nikki, you might want to help Michelle out. She's She can't find us. There we go. <laughs> okay. She's watching. Yeah, I wish it were easier. Um, it's it's easier from my from my perspective. I'm just kind of making a post. Yeah, so the Facebook Live video is just um it's really simple. You you just click like you're gonna post a regular, you know, text post or a photo, and the live video is an option there. So it just appears to me as a regular, as a regular post. All right, so um, I was saying before that we, we need white and black, red, yellow, and blue. We're gonna be working mostly with white and black, and um, we only need very little of the, the red, yellow, and blue. So if you're, you're putting paint onto a canvas or a plate, just a wee, wee, wee bit of red. We don't need a lot. We're just using the red for our rainbow. And yellow and blue, we're gonna mix green for our trees and also our rainbow. So don't go, don't go crazy um, squirting out or dumping out the red, yellow, and blue paint. We will not need a lot of it. In fact, I can show you what my plate looks like. Um, of course, it's a mess. 
But um, see that blue and yellow and red? That is way more than I will need. That is way more than I need. And then my black and white are over here. Alrighty. So let's let's get started here. This was um, a painting that I did at the arena in State College a long time ago. I want to say like years ago. So this will be a fun one to see if I remember how to do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, we can do it, I promise. But it has been a while. And this is actually a bigger, a bigger canvas than we'll be doing with today. So, all right. I love seeing all the different sizes that people have been painting on. I love the, the little mini ones that I've seen and, and uh, things on paper with crayon. So yeah, post those photos at the end. Love looking at those, those finished products. Okay, so let's start out super simple. Let's let's put down a coat of white paint. And I'm going to put my coat of white paint down to about here. So almost all the way down to the bottom. Probably around... I'm going to go down to there. So let's just cover this whole thing in white paint. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want some good coverage because we want to blend our paints. We're going to do some blending. I hope everybody's doing well this Tuesday afternoon in my neck of the woods. It's it's not terribly sunny, but it's not terribly cloudy. It was very sunny earlier. That was very nice. Welcome, welcome. Hello, if you're just joining us. For this painting, I'm using white, black, red, yellow, and blue paints. And we're just covering most of our canvas in white paint right now. All right, something like that. All right, so again, I, I wanna blend my next colors in. So I'm gonna move right into our next step and I'm kind of wiping off my brush to get off all that excess paint. Make sure that finds its way on the canvas here. And we're gonna start um, blending our, our sky. And in my original painting, I have some blue kind of, kind of coming through at the top here, but most of us, uh, most of us, most of this painting is a kind of a misty gray, okay? But maybe you want more blue in your painting, that's totally up to you. Um, but, Here's a little fun trick for our sun here. Okay, that's a sun uh, for me. Maybe it's some other moon or some other celestial body. But what I'm going to do is, I'm, this is going to be a balancing act because I'm on an angle here. But I'm going to use my paint cup, my water cup, as a, as a guide. So with, with my brush, it still has that white paint on it. I'm just going to go into a smidgy smooch of blue, like the smidgiest of smoochies, okay? And with my water cup, and I hope I'm not going to spill, I'm going to place my water cup down on my painting, wherever I want my sun to be, and then I'm just going to trace it. And that was not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's that's one way to kind of get a circle. Um, if I were flat down on my table, I'd probably have a better better chance. But I'm going to kind of try to fix my my circle here. Yeah, we got it. We got it. And if you have a major disaster, you can just kind of paint all through it over with white, smudge it around, and we'll be good. 
All right, so that's where I want my sun to be. And now I'm going to just add a more smidgy smooches of blue up in that upper area there. So I'm gonna go into another little smidgy smooch of blue. And I'm just gonna blend that wherever I want my blue sky to be. Kind of blend this all out here. And I want more blue, how about that? That is just not enough blue. A little more smidgy smooch. There we are. And we just kind of are blending that blue wherever we want more of that blue sky to be. For me in the original painting, it was up in this area, but you can have it wherever you want more of that bright blue to be. Being careful that I'm not going over that sun there. All right, so now um, I'm going to, once I'm, I'm happy with the amount of blue sky that I have, I'm going to bend over and get my paper towel. I'm going to wipe off any excess paint I have on my brush here. Here we go. And then I'm going to start blending in a gray, a very, very, very light gray. And uh, whenever we're working with a super light gray, um, make it lighter than you think you need to be because um, the paint tends to look much darker on the canvas than in our little palette or on our brush. So for example, this gray is gonna be too dark for me. I want it to be lighter than that. Um, so I'm just gonna wipe off as much gray as I can here and then smudge in some more white. That might still be too dark, but let's see. Um, hopefully some of this white paint is still wet and I can get a good a good blend happening. So yeah, that's, that's actually a little darker than I want. So I'm going to wipe off my excess paint and use still use that gray that's in my brush and get some more white. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that gray that I already have here. Kind of pick up some of that blue. So this is a very, very light gray. And if you have started the gray part and you're thinking, oh my goodness, it's too dark. You can wipe your brush clean on paper towel, kind of scrape off as much of that extra paint as you can, wipe off your brush, wipe off the brush again with paper towel and just go over everything with um, white paint. I can see that my son is looking a little goofy here. So I'm gonna try to fix this. Okay. Working on my gray here. And we don't want to go too too crazy with um, making the corners perfect because a lot of that will be covered by trees. I'm just going to bring this very, very light gray all the way down here. So 
something like that. Just blending a bit more here. something like that. So if you're wondering about brush stroke, this is kind of a, a really quick crisscross. The swish and flick for your those Harry Potter fans out there. Yes, Sherry. Um, this will be in on the Paint with Jackie Facebook page on the video section. So on, on like a, a computer, if you go to the Paint with Jackie page, you'll have a left side of um, like menu items. It, right now it says home, about, photos, events, etc. One of those options will be videos and the video will be saved there. Um, so it will be there um, in the video section. I, I don't know what it looks like exactly on a mobile device. But yeah, just go to the Paint with Jackie page and it'll be saved there automatically in the video section. So yeah, tell tell your friends or anybody else who might want to join us, uh, who, but who couldn't join us and they can paint um, later on when they have free time. All right. How's it going out there? My sense is that things are looking good. I can just kind of feel it. I can feel it through my, my iPhone camera right now. All right. So if that gray is like a number one on a scale of one to 10 in terms of gray, we want to make our next gray like a number three or a number four. Okay. So we actually have different levels of gray here, right? So these, these trees that are like really, really far back, um, I love on the hearts when you put up you guys put up hearts. It it seriously makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know what I did to get all these hearts, but thank you for all the little hearts. It's so it's so fun to see those just pop up. Anyway, um so these trees that are far far away from us in the distance, these are going to be like um a gray level 3 or 4. And then we have like a medium uh tree level maybe like a six or seven on a gray scale. And then right in the front, we have like just black. So like 10, a number 10 on the, on the gray scale, right? So we're just making, thanks for all the hearts. <laughs> I think you guys are doing it now just to, just to make me happy. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> um, you guys are the best. Um, so yeah, we're just making different, different level. Oh, it's probably Anya pushing the button there. Um, uh, we're making different, different levels of gray here. Okay. So let's make a gray that is darker than this light gray, but not, but not too dark, right? We, we still want to be able to stretch our legs out later on. So let's see what we need to do. Still work with this gray that I had earlier little smidgy smooch of black. That might still be too dark. Let's see what we got. I'm going to add some more, more white here. Let's see. What do we think? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for those hearts. All right. So now we're working on these trees that are right about here. So for me, oh, I know what we need to do. Let's, let's give ourselves a base. Let's give ourselves that ground um, that's kind of hanging out in the back. So let's, I'm just going to go across like this. And that, actually, I want that to be a little bit lighter. So, oh, we're crazy now. We crazy now with those hearts. <laughs> Make sure you're painting. Don't forget to paint. 
All right. Oh my goodness, you guys crack me up. Okay, so now let's give ourselves this ground. And this is, this is that, that ground that's farthest away from us, right? So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth to give myself a sense of where these, these trees live, okay? All right. Now with, with my big brush, okay, um, I'm moving my brush back and forth in my plate, in the gray paint, and I can get a nice edge there. Or you can use a smaller brush if you've got one, okay? And here I'm just gonna start planting my, my trees. And these trees, again, are far away from us. So these are gonna be the thinnest, the thinnest trees in our painting. Just kinda put these over here. All right. So I'm just kind of planting those trees wherever I want them. And if you're like me, as you pull down, you might be pulling up some of the paint in your ground. So I'm just going to kind of fix that. So now we've got these background trees. And for some of them, you might want, you don't have to, but for some of them, you might want to add a few little branches. But I'm not going to go crazy because so, so much of this is going to get covered up by um, our darker layer of trees. Also, once we have our trees down with that same kind of gray, I can kind of use my brush like a stamper here and kind of play with some foliage. So I'm just kind of stamping. And this, this, these trees, again, they're so far away that even our, our leaves don't look green. They're still kind of gray and faded. So let's, something like that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go for a gray that is sort of the middle of this gray and black. So we're going for what would be in the middle of this gray and, and pure black. So I'm gonna take the gray that I was working with and add some black to it. That might be it right there. By the way, if anybody's new to um, these paint videos, I will be on the Jana Marie Foundation Facebook page on Thursday, also at two o'clock. So in case you wanna paint some more this week, I'll be at the Jana Marie Foundation page on Thursday at two o'clock, and those videos get saved to their Facebook page in their video section. All right, so with this middle gray, now I wanna add, um, just like last time, I'm gonna add some ground for where these trees live. Something like that.
Might want to make that a little bit darker. And also, um, a cool effect that you can do. <laughs> Looks like we got some more crazy hearts coming in. Okay, um, a cool effect that you can do that I did in the original painting. Let me show you. <laughs> it looks like it's a war of hearts between the cousins. Is that is that what's happening right now? Um, so to get this this little effect here, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, um, that's kind of looks like grasses, right? Little wispy grasses. Um, so to do that from here, I can just kind of pull up gently, gently pull up some of the paint that's already down there. That's kind of a neat effect. Something like that. All right. So now we're going to follow the same step, right? <laughs> We're going to fall. You guys are cracking me up. I hope you guys are still painting instead of just uh, sending me beautiful hearts. Okay. Um, so same as last time, I'm going to start planting trees now in this, in this darker layer. But now these trees are going to be taller and thicker. Okay. Because they're closer to us. They're going to be taller and thicker. So I'm going to go back to my gray. Make sure I have enough of it here. All right, so again, I'm thinking taller and thicker. So I'm going to start up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. And I can add some branches. Put another one over here. You can start at the top or you can start in the ground and pull up. If you're getting a little scratchy like I am here, that means that we just don't have enough paint on our brush or the paint is getting a little a little tacky, a little dry. A little water will help that out. A little water will help that out is what I said in case you couldn't hear me. All right. Here we go. This brush, I'm not a fan of this brush right now. It's not giving me a thin line. I think it's because I just have too much paint in it. Let's try to get some paint off of here. Hmm. Let's see, how many more of those do I want to do? Let's, let's, oh, I don't know, put one right here oh this brush is not doing me any favors today hmm. let me try this one better okay added some water to my trees here okay sorry it got distracted my brush was just not being a team player okay now for our last layer let's just go straight black 
Okay. Let's just go straight by. Oh, before we do that, sorry. Before we do that, let's also add some foliage with this gray. So just like a little tappy tap with your brush. Um, you might want to try a different brush. See what that looks like. I'm going to use a small one now. My small brush here. Okay, and just kind of tap some foliage on. We're also going to make green, but this kind of helps us add some different layers. And I don't, when I add the, the foliage like this, I don't, I don't really care if I'm near a branch or not because the, the brain will kind of do that for us. The brain kind of fills in the gaps. Yeah. All right. So once you've tapped some of that gray foliage down, I'm going to add our last layer in the front here with just straight black. Yeah. Now we've got our third layer here. Just straight black. Nice. How how we doing out there, folks? I hope we're doing well. Alright, so now for these trees, again, these are the closest to us, so we're going even taller and thicker than the trees that we just did, okay? So for me, this one's going to start way up at the top here and shunk, go all the way down. Sound effects do help, I find, when painting trees. Let's put another guy over here. Shunk. Yeah, there's my thin lines. Whew. And let's put another big guy over here. Shunk. Sorry if I'm quiet. Sometimes I just get really distracted by doing branches. I love painting branches and trees. Let's let's add, oh, let's put another guy right here. Bloop. He was just a little tree, so he just got a bloop. Let's get some of these. Oh, yeah. Let's get some of these branches out here. Something like that. All right. I'm I'm feeling good. I feel like we're looking good. I hope you guys are doing okay too. So now I want to start playing with a bunch of different colors of green, okay? So all I have are red, yellow, and blue. How am I gonna make green? Kiddos, tell me, how am I gonna make green? Tell your grownups. What two colors? You got it. Blue and yellow, right? 
So I'm just going to have fun. And I see I have gray on my brush still, and that's fine with me. I'm going to have fun mixing some different kinds of greens, okay? Um, and here's where we get to have fun, because I think that the more variety of greens you get, I think the better the, the painting will look, because you get some of that variety and depth. So if I show you the original, whoops, if I show you the original, um, we've got lots of different greens, and even some black showed up here. But I got some really light greens, some medium greens, some darker greens, and then straight black. And I'm just going to have fun building up those those layers. So I'm going to start, let's see what this green looks like. Oh yeah. Showing up pretty dark on the video, but it's kind of like a, almost like an army green. And I'm just going to build that up wherever, wherever I want. Um, kind of a, a rule of thumb, if you're interested, is keeping, keeping the corners darker and lightening up as we go inward because of that sun, right? So the sun is going to kind of be brightening up the, the leaves um, closest to it. And then as we go outward, the leaves will get a bit darker. So I can show you that again here. Um, again, that big bright sun is, is lightening up the leaves here. And as we get in these corners, it gets a little bit darker than say over here. But yeah, this is, this is where we kind of get to have fun, play around with different green. Some of you might have straight green, uh, paint and see, see what happens when you add yellow to green or see what happens when you add blue to green or even, even a smidgy smooch of black. I'm using this little brush here just as like a little stamper. I'm going to lighten up that green with some yellow to get these leaves that are in here getting lit, lit up by the sun. Ooh, now I'm having fun, y'all. I'm having fun now with these leaves. How about it? So I have some lighter leaves in my center area here. So now I'm going to I'm going to work on some darker greens so I can fill up my corners with a darker green. Maybe a little smidgy smooch of black in there. Get like an army green again. Yeah. I like it. And this, of course, we're already looking different than the original painting, and your painting will look different too. Fun. Some down here. I'm gonna add more black to that green. Get it nice and dark. So yeah, we're almost black there. Awesome. Just gonna keep working here. Just having fun with any kind of green that I can mix. Got some more hearts coming in. already tell how different these two paintings are very different in terms of leaves right 
I think I must have been using a different brush there for my foliage. Um, but yeah, everyone's is going to be a little different. I cannot wait to see your photos. Your photos bring me such joy these days. So please post those those pictures when you're all done. I think I think the easiest way is to just post them here in the comment section when you're when you're done. Okay, we are just going crazy with the hearts. I hope that's not disturbing anyone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, awesome. I'm feeling happy with this, guys. I hope this is this has been a fun, bright brightening to your day. And we're not even done yet. We we have the best part coming, which is this rainbow. Um, so for the rainbow, we want to make sure that our painting is totally dry, okay? Like bone dry. So what we can do is we can take a five minute break once you're done with your foliage. Um, a hair dryer works really well. Um, if you don't have a hair dryer, just kind of waving, waving your painting in the air will work. Okay, but we do want this to dry um, before we put our rainbow on. And I can talk a little bit about the rainbow as we're waiting to dry here. Uh, so this rainbow is, it's done with the same acrylic paint, but the acrylic has been watered down quite a bit to the point where it's like a watercolor. Um, and it's so watery and thin, in fact, that um, as we paint, the colors kind of bleed and blend into one another, which is an effect that I really like. Um, so if you want to have this kind of transparent uh, rainbow effect, you want to really water down your, your acrylics. And I can show you how I do that. Um, or maybe you don't want a transparent rainbow. Maybe you want something that's more bold. And in that case, you would not have as much water mixed in with your paint. It's totally up to you. Um, I do like the kind of transparent rainbow. Um, I think it's a nice little effect. But again, this is your painting, so you can have a really nice, strong, bold rainbow or something a bit more subtle like this or, you know, something in between. So again, um, we are basically taking a, a little break here because we want this to dry. I highly recommend a hair dryer if you have one. Those work really well. I use those all the time when I'm preparing my, my paintings, um, when I do paint events um, in between uh, sections. I will run to the bathroom and, you know, blow it dry, clean my brush in the sink, and then run back to my, my paint area. Uh, one of these days I should just get a hair dryer just for this purpose, but I keep running back and forth to the bathroom <laughs> to, to dry it. Um, so let's let's take five minutes how about that let's take five minutes so when my laptop says 249 we're going to get started again so now is actually a good snack break drink break if you have to use the restroom i'm going to take this to the bathroom so i can um, hit it with the, the hair dryer so don't go anywhere i will be back um, with my painting nice and dry okay and I will leave behind the original um, for those of you who are still working. So I'll be back in five minutes.
right. We are back. And I am dry. That's that's the sound we want to hear. A nice scratchy dry sound. Okay. So, here we go. Let's do this rainbow. Ooh, if you haven't already, you want to wash a small brush. So I haven't done that yet. I'm going to rinse this smaller brush very clean. All right. And I want to keep those bristles wet. So I'm not going to dry it off. Okay. I'm going to keep those bristles nice and wet. And then I'm going to just touch, just touch my bristles into my red paint here. And it's gonna get a nice pool of red. Very, very watery, watery red, right? Okay. And the rule here is um, you can always add more red. It's harder to take it away, right? So if you wanna err on the side of being too watery, that's fine. So I've got this nice kind of puddle of red happening here. And then I'm going to um, start, actually I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to start from the, the middle here and just pull up an arc. How about that? All right. Just go for it. You can do it. Then I want to rinse my brush completely. And then I'm going to go into yellow, the same idea. And now um, I'm going to use yellow to not only put the yellow part of the um, rainbow, but I'm going to overlap it with some of that red so I can make... What color, what color am I going to make, kiddos, with red and yellow? That's right, orange. Okay. So this time I'm going to kind of overlap some of that red and leave some of the yellow by itself also. Ooh, I'm very, cause I'm at an angle here. I'm dripping. Yeah, Nikki, I'll show that in a second. Here's your, whoops. <laughs> Here's the picture again. Okay. All right. You got it, Nick? All right. And because um, I prop these canvases up at an angle so I can get a better camera angle for you guys, but um, what, what's happening is I'm dripping. So I'm actually going to move my little perch back and try to get this on a flat surface here. All right so I don't drip everywhere. Okay, that's better. Get these brushes out of the way. All right, same thing. Oh, actually, actually, I want to extend that yellow out. Um, I want to make that, I want to make that yellow thicker because some of that yellow is going to have to mix with my blue to get green. So I'm just going to thicken up that yellow. Give it some more yellow. Okay. Now, again, rinse my brush. Same thing. I'm going to dip into some blue. Really wet brush, dipping into some blue here. I think you can see why this is more than enough paint than we need for these colors here. It's a little too blue. And now, again, I'm going to overlap some of that yellow so some of this blue can mix with that yellow. Kiddos, what do we get with blue and yellow? Like we did earlier, yep, we get green. So I'm going to overlap some of that yellow and get some green happening. And I'm going to pull out more blue even because I'm going to mix some, some red there to get violet. So I still have my blue, my really wet blue, and I'm going to move over 
to my really wet red that has dried up there we go we get a nice nice purpley violet and I can add that into the mix and now we got Roy G Biv how about that All right, so there's our rainbow. Very, very different from the original, right? Everybody's is gonna look just a wee bit different. But I like both of them, what do you think? I hope you like yours. I love how just little, little differences here and there, you get an entirely different kind of feeling of the painting, right? There's the original that I painted years ago, and here's what we just did today. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining me on yet another Tuesday Paint with Live, Paint with Live, Paint with Jackie Live. I had a great time with this one. This one was fun. We kind of have these, you know, dark gray trees, but then we have this beautiful, colorful rainbow um, to make us remember the happy and the joy of these days, right? So thank you guys so much for being here. Please, please um, post the pictures of your paintings in the comments. Uh, tell your friends about the uh, video that will be in the video section of Paint with Jackie. And again, I will be on the Jana Marie Foundation Facebook page on Thursday at 2 o'clock for another painting. So I hope to see you there. Otherwise, tell your friends and family that I will be over there for a nice uh, painting wellness break. And thank you so much for joining me with the, this rainbow in the woods. Maybe a very fantastical thing. I don't even know if it's possible in real life, but we made it happen today. Yes, we did. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, brings me joy. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on Thursday, Jan and Marie Foundation. This is Jackie of Pain with Jackie, and I will see you next time.